no me contestan. Por casualidad alguien trajo pan dulce. No, Ede, pero si quiere mandar a comprar y me quiere regalar. No, yo, yo, yo sí ya está quiero. hecho. <risa> ¿Cómo digo? Pero de corta de, de la... Hello. Hi class. Eh, torta de esa de. Hi teacher. Me digo la teacher. She is coming. <risa> El que me trajeron dice. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you. Thank you. Nos trajo muy bien. Gracias. No, créanme, a veces sirve para levantar los ánimos ya a media tarde, ¿verdad? So that's okay. Yes, with coffee. With coffee. With coffee. Pero se acuerdan de la recomendación: don't work too hard. Y ayer nos decían: don't drink coffee. Ok. Tomen café tanto. Pero no, créanme, nos sirve bastante. Igual ya tipo 3, 4 de la tarde hay que ir buscando ya el café. En mi caso sí me toca. ¿Ok? Pero sí me he desligado bastante del café. Toca. Porque a veces afecta bastante. ¿Ok? Bien, esperemos. Casi tenemos ya la una en punto. Muy puntuales. Me encanta este grupo. Siempre bien puntual. Incluso antes que la teacher. ¿Ok? Estamos 8. 8 todavía. Este día vamos a iniciar section number three. Section three, and we are going to work uh, based on the activities from the platform. Bien, pero déjenme preguntarles, ¿qué tal su día? ¿Cómo ha estado? Gaby, Chanira, Glenda, Ruth, Guadalupe, Jorge. How was your day? ¿Cómo está su día? Gustavo en Edenilson. ¿Cómo van con su día? Good, bad, how are you today? I'm good, teacher. Very good. Wow, okay. Very great. good, teacher. Very good. It's a great day. It's a great day. Very good. It's a great day. Yes, I can say the same. Today is a great day, okay? Thursday. Día jueves, okay? Thursday. What day is today? Practiquemos la fecha. ¿Cómo decimos la fecha? Ahora es Thursday, April 7th, 2022. 2022. 2022. Very good. April 7th, April 7th. Imagine, time flies. Vamos muy rápido, ya vamos por el 7 de abril. Vamos bien rápido. So, April 7th. Don't forget that um, we need to practice the topics. Topics that we have been looking in previous classes we need to practice the vocabulary and the structures do you remember yesterday que estábamos viendo ayer cuáles fueron los temas o el tema en específico de ayer que vimos imperative imperatives imperative so can you give me some examples about imperatives imperatives recommendation about the medicine exactly or... okay very good recommendations about medicine or what else ¿Qué más yes another for example recommendations. recommendations there you go that is the the key uh, word or expression recommendations For example, if I tell you I can't sleep at night, I can't sleep at night. Look at this one. Recommendations para finalizar con sección 2. I can't sleep at night. What is one of the recommendations? Don't drink mm. coffee in the evening. Okay? This is just a speaking practice. So you can remember the vocabulary and imperatives, the way that we use imperatives, okay? Look at number two, we have Corey and she, or he is saying, I have a headache. Can you give me one recommendation? I, yes. I take an aspirin. Oh, very good. I have a headache, take two aspirins. Take two aspirins. Very nice That's recommendation. It. Number three, Gabriela, can you please read number three, Lucia? Uh, Lucia, I work uh, 12 or 
hours a day? I work 12 hours a day. Janira, can you give a recommendation, please? Uh, ay, um, yo trabajo 12 horas al día. Exactly. Uh, eh, ay, no, no sé. <laughs> okay. Uh, take. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice descanso? Look, que esa recomendación solo que va a ser en negativo. Ah, uh -huh. I, I don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. That's correct. Don't work too hard. Gustavo, can you continue with William? Number four, William. My legs hurt. My legs uh... hurt. Yeah, what is the recommendation? Y acá tomamos la recomendación. My legs uh, hurt. Uh, exercise. I don't exercise today or tomorrow. Ah, okay. So is this an affirmative or... Uh, uh, or do we say don't exercise today or tomorrow? Yes. So is the recommendation don't exercise today or tomorrow or exercise no. today or tomorrow? Exercise today or tomorrow. Ah, okay. Yes, right? You know, it can be both. Podría ser ambas también, fíjense. Podríamos recomendarle ejercítate ahora y mañana o no te ejercites. Si ya te duelen, please don't exercise today or tomorrow. It can be both. Uh, then, then we have mean O. Glenda, number five. And the recommendation as well. Um, don't eat any cold food. Okay, but please read. Read number five. I have. I have a toothache. Mm -hmm. Toothache. Ache. I have a toothache. Toothache. Tooth toothache. Tooth and what is the recommendation, Glenda? It's don't eat any cold food. Yes, right? Don't. Please don't eat any cold food. That's okay, very good job. And I have the last one. Eh, Guadalupe, could you please help me with number six, Fatima? I have an ample stomach ache. Okay. Uh, don't say an um, antiacid. What do you think? Don't take or take okay. an acid? Uh -huh. An acid. What do you think, Edenilson? Don't take or take? What is the correct take recommendation? An acid. Ah, yeah, right. In this case, it's take. Okay. Toma un antiacido. Take. Porque si le decimos don't take, mm, no estaríamos dando la solución, ¿verdad? So, take and an acid. Very good job. So, don't forget recommendations. That is the last part of section number two. And for today, what do we have? Look at this one. Section number three. What is the topic or the title for section number three? You can't miss it. No te lo puedes perder. You can't miss it. And this is class number seven. We are in this beginner number three course. So let's go to the platform and find out. Veamos qué tenemos en la plataforma. ¿Cuántos ya entraron a la sección 3 de la plataforma? Nobody? Si no, aquí vamos. Tomémonos el tiempo ahorita. Section number three, look. And we have the first objective. Miren el objetivo principal. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for stores and other places. And this class, where you can get different things. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán vocabulario sobre tiendas y otros lugares y discutirán dónde pueden conseguir cosas diferentes, okay? 
Veamos qué tipo de vocabulario es. Si ya lo vieron, solo repasemos para reforzar la pronunciación. Here we go. This is the first video for section number three. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two. You can buy bread at a supermarket. Three. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. That's okay. So let's try to listen again to the correct vocabulary and expressions. Okay, here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places. Stores and, and discuss places. where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two. You can buy bread at a supermarket. Three. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Very good job. So you can, you can. Let me ask you, class, I need to get a new cell phone. Where can I buy a new cell phone? Look at my cell phone, it's too old. So I need to get a new cell phone. Where can I get a new cell phone? ¿Dónde puedo comprar un nuevo teléfono? Where? You can buy a cell phone. Where? ¿Quién me da alguna recomendación? Where Gustavo, can I get? Gustavo. Yes. Gustavo puede recomendarle. Okay, why Gustavo? I'm curious about why Gustavo. <laughs> I need to get a new cell phone. Where can I get the cell phone, Gustavo? <laughs> yes. Se fijaron la relación, lo que estábamos haciendo. Compro en un lugar en específico. Quiero comprar pan dulce para en la tarde. Where can I get? Pastries. ¿Dónde lo compro? You can buy. Bakery. In a bakery. You can buy. Pastry bread. Or bread in a bakery. I in need bakery. to. I need to get medicine. Medicine. Where can I get medicine? You can buy medicine in a drugstore. You can buy medicine in a drugstore. I need to get a new car. A new car. Give me recommendations. You can buy a new car in a agency. Maybe. Very good. Mm -hmm. So how it goes? Como va entonces? Car agency or. Mm -hmm. 
Very good. This is the one. You can't. Miren. Tú puedes. Buy. Tú puedes comprar. Damos el nombre del objeto. Y decimos at. A. Y luego mencionamos el lugar. Uh -huh. Les ponía el ejemplo de bread. Puedes comprar pan. You can buy bread at a bakery. Tú puedes comprar y luego damos el nombre del lugar. You can buy medicine. Where? Porque se me el micrófono. At a drugstore. Miren, at a drugstore. Tú puedes comprar y cuando estamos hablando de lugar, when we are talking about places, specific places, we are going to use at. Miren, at. At. Lugares en específico, ¿ok? Specific places. Tell me. We can say pharmacy too. Yes, we can say pharmacy too. That's like a synonym. Drugstore, pharmacy as well. That's okay. That's okay, acceptable. Mm -hmm. I need to buy food. I need to get some milk, eggs, and I don't know, fruit. Where can I get? Necesito comprar comida. Give me a recommendation. You can buy fruit and, and food at a restaurant. At a restaurant? Okay. At a supermarket. Ah, I like that one better. At a supermarket. So look. Teacher is by. Uh -huh. oh, okay. You can buy. And I wrote but. Thank you for the correction. Gracias, chicos. Aquí está la, con, la correcta oración. You can buy fruit and food at a restaurant or you can buy fruit and food at a supermarket. Okay? So, is it clear? ¿Está claro el orden como vamos a hacer nuestras oraciones? Porque vamos a practicar ahorita. We are going to practice with some vocabulary. You can buy bread at a bakery. You can buy medicine at a drugstore. You can buy fruit and food at a restaurant. Or we can say you can buy fruit and food at a supermarket. We are going to working groups right now. Let me show you what we're going to do. If you check your WhatsApp right now, I have shared a picture that we are going to use right now. Let me see. Let me send it again. Okay, it's loading. Está cargando. So let's check the vocabulary that we have. We need to practice vocabulary. Look at this one. You can buy or you can get. Ambos verbos podemos usarlos. Buy. Miren acá. Tenemos how many pictures? Three, five. Eight pictures, eight pictures. Can you identify the places? How about letter A? What is the name of the place? Ruth, how do you call this place? A, for letter A. Acá estamos, letter A. What is this one? Se alcanza a leer? Letter A, what is this, Ruth? Post office. And what is a post office class? What is a post office? Do we have a post office here in El Salvador? Correos. Correos, uh -huh. like Correos El Salvador. It's similar to a post office. Letter B, Samuel, what do you see in the picture? Letter B, this one, letter B. What is this? Uh, the B and drugs, drugs, drug store. Drug store, drug store. Drug store. Mm -hmm. uh, drug store. And uh, what is a drug store? Can you mention 
the name of some famous rock stores in El Salvador? Uh -huh. Or who can help? Can you please ayudar? Names of and rock then... stores in El Salvador. San Nicolás. San Nicolás uh -huh. is a drug store. Economica, value. Economica, Economica. Ah, Camila. Camila. Uh -huh. So, drug store or pharmacy. But it's not, com it's not common to draw or to call it drug store. Okay. And then we have this one. Wow. What is this one, Ivania? Tell me the vocabulary or the name of the place. A gas station. A gas station. A gas station. Can you mention some of the names from gas stations in El Salvador? Texaco Uno. Texaco Uno. Yes, right? Very good. So gas station. Puma. Puma is another one. And that's okay. Very good. Josue, look at picture and tell me the name of letter D. What is this one? Uh, department store. A department store. And what is that? Department store. Department. Very good. Department store. Where can I get or where can I find a department store? ¿A dónde encuentro un department store? ¿Qué es eso? Uh -huh. um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Eh, man, por ejemplo. Exactly. <laughs> if you see the big place, el lugar en general es Simán, pero adentro de Simán que encuentro. Many department stores. Okay. Son como los eh, las divisiones que tiene cada tienda. Department store. Very good. Eh, next one. Gustavo. Tell me the name of this place. A bank. A bank. Very good. A bank. Can you mention some of the names of famous banks in El Salvador? Banco Agricola. Agricola. Very good. Uh, Buscatlán. Buscatlán. Azul. Banco Azul. Very good. And some others, right? So, a bank. Then we have Gabriela, letter F. What is this? A bookstore. A bookstore. What is a bookstore? Um, you can buy your uh, books. You can get or books. magazines. Books or magazines. Very good. So don't confuse. No confundamos librería con. ¿Qué sería entonces una bookstore? Biblioteca. Biblioteca. Será mm. una biblioteca. Mm, o venta de libros. Venta de libros, bien. ¿Cómo decimos entonces eh, biblioteca? Library. Library, Library. Exactly. Library is not the same as bookstore. Bookstore, ustedes van a comprar magazines and books. That's okay, magazines and books. So, bookstore, and then we have this one. Let me ask Eden Nilsson. Letter G. Tell me the name of this place. A coffee shop. A coffee shop. Coffee shop. Can you mention the name of some famous coffee shops in El Salvador? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't drink coffee, but I oh, know okay. about yeah. some of them. <laughs> okay. Starbucks. Starbucks. The coffee cup. The coffee cup is another coffee shop. And Ben's Coffee and others. And others, right? Yes, the same as me. I don't get some, some coffee from coffee shop. So I don't know. Alguien experto en el tema de coffee shops? Juan Valdez. Oh, Juan Valdez, yes, right? <laughs> Juan Valdez is a very recognized and famous coffee shop. And the last one, wow, this is very easy. Glenda. Oh, who was it? Albert? No, Glenda first, please. No, Glenda. A supermarket. A supermarket. Can you mention some supermarkets in El Salvador? Walmart. Walmart. Super Selecto. Super Selecto. 
eh, la despensa. Price mark. Price mark and some others, right? So, questions about this vocabulary? I guess not, right? So what are we going to do? What can we get? Si se fijan, solo tengo pocos ejemplos de los que, que podemos comprar en estas tiendas o lugares, llamémosle, okay? In these stores. I have some examples, but I need you to work with groups, with your groups, and I need you to get a list. Por lo menos tres ítems, three items, o tres cosas que podemos comprar o obtener de cada lugar, okay? Is it clear? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Let's make a list. Vamos a hacer una lista. For example, supermarket. ¿Qué puedo comprar en un supermarket? Easy. Tenemos tantas cosas. Drugstore. Tell me three things that you can get at a drugstore. Tal vez la más difícil. Post office. Puedo obtener en una post office. Pensemos un poquito, ¿ok? Speaking practice right now. Vamos a trabajar en grupos. Usemos su cuerno de inglés y luego tenemos la discusión como grupo, ¿ok? Let's work right now. Speaking practice. Here we go. Please write the sentences and compare with your classmates. Here we go. Great. Eh, Tienen la imagen de, de no, si no la pude. No, pero la, de la imagen donde están las Ajá, lo pasaron la, en el grupo. Ah, vamos a ver ahorita. Pero yo estoy ocupando el celular. La cámara. Quiero ver. Uh -huh. Puede ser. Permítame, Jenny, permítame, por favor. Quiero, quiero, ver. quiero ver si lo puedo ah. compartir yo aquí. Gas Station era el otro, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál? Gas Station. ¿Cuál otro era? ¿Cuál otro, Sammy? El de Park de de Park Perfecto, como ahorita van a llevar el de Park Store. Store. No den al más en nadie. De Park este, Store. Sí. Igual tenían que, que solicitar crédito fiscal por eso. El D. El D era Park. Tendría que ser a nombre de Park negocio que van a venir. Sí, sobre el uh -huh. Vaya. O, o permítame, permítame. Empezamos. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Ahorita voy a compartir la imagen. No, a nombre de Ajo Trans de Centroamérica puede ser. Sí, por favor. Oye, pues, gracias. Gracias. Teacher. Teacher, hello. Tell me, tell me, tell me. ¿Cómo se dice sobres en, en inglés? Sobre, sobre envelope. para meter carta. Envelope. Envelope. Yes. Uh -huh. Sobre, muy bien. Estampillas también se me está ocurriendo. Stamps. Ajá, envelope. Stamps. stamps. And I don't know what, no sé qué más. Eh, Servicios de courier. Ah, ok. También, ¿verdad? No es algo físico, pero tal vez un servicio. Ajá. Courier service. Uh -huh. Very good. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ellen Nilsson. Hola. Hola. Va, entonces dígame la tres. You can buy otra cosa que podemos comprar en la post office. Tres. Sí, ¿verdad? Con esa. Sí, sí, con esa. Courier service. At a post office. 
Vaya, entonces tenemos, you can buy stamps at a, a post office. You can buy envelopes at a post office. And you can buy courier service at a post office. Vaya, in a drugstore. You can buy Cool Medicine, que es la primera que está ahí. Medicina para resfriado. Oh. At a, a drugstore. Otra grenda. Jeringas. ¿Cómo? Jeringas. Ah, ¿cómo se dice jeringas? Se escribe S Y R I N S Y R R de rosa y N de nene uh -huh. G de gato E S E F E S S S. Siringes. Siringes. Ah, va. At the a drugstore. Una. Una falta. El en... Algo de. Gro groceries. 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 Ajá. Groceries. Groceries. Ok. okay. Mm, vaya. Department store. Ah, es, es, shoes. <laughs> Clothes. Eh, Clothes. Glass. Ahí está. <laughs> ¿Cuál era esa? Department store. Perfumes. Department. En esa vamos a decir short. Ajá. Perfume. Eh, ropa, ¿verdad? Sí. Clothes, eh, shoes. Eh, uh -huh. ¿Qué más? Watches. Relojes. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. um, De ahí en, en el banco. Bank. bank. Uh -huh. En el bank. Eh, Comprar, eh, vamos a decir, eh, comprar monedas. Pues, uh, huh? comprar monedas, veamos. Like coins. 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 Oh, y cambio, bueno, esa es el parte del servicio. Uh, es que también, bueno, hoy en día venden seguros, comprar un seguro. Ah, un seguro de vida, pongámosle. Seguro de vida, life insurance. Quiero ver cómo se pronuncia. Life insurance. O a veces hace, bueno, una tarjeta de crédito, credit card. Ah, credit card. ¿Verdad? Debit card. Ah, en ah, cheque decía, ¿verdad? Sí. Chequera. Uh -huh. Chequera, sí. No sé realmente si ¿Sí? así es. Chequera. Eh, chequera, teacher. Yes, that's the correct one. Checkbook. Ah. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. I can buy. Checkbook. Checkbook. Books. ¿Cuál es? Ah. ¿Eh? ¿A dónde vamos? Eh, ah, la, el, ah, la, ah, la, la biblioteca. ¿Cómo? Revistas. Eh, ah, magazine. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Eh, enciclopedia. Ajá. 
Eh, eso es lo que es de librería, ¿verdad? Los, los juegos. Yo le había puesto Biblias. Ah, vaya. Sí, también lo ven. ¿Qué, ¿Qué era lo otro que hacía? No, los juegos esos de rompecabezas y todo eso, pero eso es de más de librería. Sí, sí, es lo mismo. No. Ah, no, pero es biblioteca. ¿Eh? No, esa es una librería, pero solo venden libros. Ah, bueno. No es como una librería de papel, así sí. entiendo yo. Ah, bueno, eh, está bien eso. Que... Mm, you can buy... mm, podría comprar también. You can market eh, hot dogs o nachos 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 soda bucanas bucanas germany <laughs> Hablando. Sí, dice recarga, right? I don't know. Yes. Recarga. ¿Cómo se dice? Recarga de saldo. Telefónico. Le micrófono, Tisha, no le escuchamos. El micrófono no le escucha. Ah, ok, veamos, recarga de saldo ahorita. Solo estaba escuchando lo que vuelvo a comprar. You class, right? Me está poniendo recarga para la tisha. También hay recarga de saldo y todo eso. Sí, recarga de saldo. Ahorita le busco un sinónimo, ok? Sigan hablando mientras yo lo busco, ok? Don't worry. Balance this in order. Otra cosa. Balance. The balance. <laughs> yeah, balance. It's like the. Es el más cercano. Balance. <laughs> Yes, balance, llamémosle balance, ¿ok? Porque sería como el saldo, ajá. Uh -huh. So we can get, sí, esos son los sinónimos que me tira ahorita. Mm -hmm. Porque también le llaman airtime. Airtime. Ah, tiempo aire. Ajá. Airtime. Mm. También se le llama así. Pero pongámosle recharge. Balance, recharge. Search. Yeah, recharge your balance. Como una recarga. O ponerle dinero o uh -huh. saldo extra. Así pongamos. Ok. Ok. In a bookstore. You can you can buy uh, books and historietas comics. Comics, um, novelas, novels, no novels, no novel books, coffee shop. Yeah. Coffee sí. with ¿Cuál otra? Cash station. Cash station. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es la cash station? ¿Qué pone la gasolinera? 
Uy, pero la gasolina era solo... Gasolina, echar gasolina. lubricante. Ajá, lubricante. Comprar lubricante. Aceite, aceite. Aceite. Oil, oil, lubricante. Pongamos, ah, you can buy... A clean the window. You, you can buy... Este... And buy... Oil, aceite. Oil, ajá. Oil at... Aceite... Uh, para aceite vehículos, oil. ¿cómo sería? O solo aceite. Gas station. Aceite. ¿Ah? Aceite para vehículos o solo aceite, ponemos. No, solo puede ser de comer. Ok. <risa> eh, no. y, y gasolina, ¿cómo sería? Entonces, yo que gasolina. Buy combustible. Gasolina. Combustible. <risa> Come, gasolina, gasolina. Con N. <risa> solo, solo, solo la gasolina. 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 Ok. <risa> y usted combustible. Gos pues sí. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué gasolina. otra? ¿Qué otro? Dos, tres. <risa> Gasoline at a gas station. Puede comprar también lubricante. Mm. Lubricante, Sammy. You can buy. Lauren. Lubricante, ¿Sí? pero ¿cómo se dice lubricante? You can buy. No sé. Lubricante. Lubricante. <risa> no, hombre, ajá, lubricante. Vaya, so, ah, no me creen. Sí, chica. No, no, hombre, lubricante. Ajá. Ok, esto es en gasolinera, ok. Gasolinera. Yo creo que ¿Qué no otra nos falta? No, no, Vamos a ver. El banco, no, 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 banco ya lo hicieron. Ahí. Ya estuvo, ese es el que le voy a pasar, Lore. Gasolinera. Ah, con, el bank, con el banco es, you can change money. Mm. Gasolina y lubricant. Change money at a bank. ¿Cuál okay. otro? ¿De Panamá Store? Ah, y el bookstore, ya lo, ya lo. El bookstore, no, ese no, gas station, solo post office y book. Ok, time to come back so we can compare, ok. Did you finish, Ellen Nilsson, and your group? Yes, did you finish? Did you have the time to finish? Vania, Ruth, Ellen Nilsson. Terminamos todas las categorías? Yes or no? Okay, veamos. We were talking about different places. What can we buy? Necesito escuchar ese orden correcto para que expresemos las oraciones. You can buy at. Okay, y decimos primero el producto y luego the name of the place. You can buy at. This is the way that we are going to express. First one. What do we have in the first picture? Let me ask. Vamos a ir en orden. I need some volunteers. Raise your hand. Y en ese orden lo voy a hacer pasar, ¿ok? Vamos a dar ejemplos. Ya discutimos en grupo. It's time to speak right now. Here we go. Let me share my screen. Post office. Post office. Here we go. Post office. What can I buy at a post office? Eden Nilsson, you are the first one. El primero que tengo ahí en pantalla. Give me your examples. Post office. You can do it, go. Yes. What happened to your microphone? There yeah, you now. go. Yes, okay. post office, go. In the post office, you can receive correspondence. You okay. can receive checks. And you can send checks and other documents. Very good. I like it. Me gusta el giro que le dieron. Tal vez no comprar, pero ¿qué podemos hacer? You can do this action, this one and this one at a post office. Excellent example. Now I have Ellen Nielsen. Tell me about a drugstore. Drugstore. What can I buy at a drugstore? Just three examples, please. Just three.
Mm, I cannot hear. Can you, class? ¿Podemos escucharlo, class? Yes or no? No, no. No, se right? Escucha. I guess he's having problems. So, don't worry. Let's see who's next. Josué, please, give me the examples for a drugstore. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Um, you can buy um, aspirin. Uh, you can buy um, antiacid. Uh, you can buy uh, uh, seria, uh, nasal spray. Nasal spray, but where? Don't forget to mention the place. You can buy nasal spray at a drugstore. One more time, Jose. Mencionemos el lugar también. Go. Okay. Um, you can buy a drugstore in aspirin. You can buy a, a drugstore in uh, antiacid. Okay, it's the other way. It's al revés, Jose. You can buy aspirins at a drugstore. Si no, le daríamos otro sentido a la oración. Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Uh, a drugstore. Very good job. And the last example, please. You can buy um, a nasal a spray a drugstore. Very good job. You can buy nasal spray at a drugstore. Alberto, can you give me your examples for a gas station? A gas station. Hey, teacher. Can, uh, you can buy uh, gasoline at the uh, gas station. Uh, you can buy engine oil and gas station. Aceite de motor. Yes, engine oil, very good. Uh, you can buy it in gas station groceries. Okay. Pardon, uh, you can buy groceries at the gas station. You can buy groceries at a gas station. Okay, yes. Remember that gas stations, they have like these um, like, stores. Estas tiendas, store, convenience stores. Mm -hmm. And you can buy oh, groceries. Okay. Very good job. So that's okay. Ruth. Tell me your examples for a department store. A department store. Uh, uh, you can buy, 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 buy. cosmetics. Very good. Buy uh, clothes, clothes, clothes and shoes at a department store. Yeah. No, no, no. You can buy cosmetics. Okay. Clothes uh, and shoes at the part store. Very good. So you can buy lotions and shoes and cosmetic at a department store. Nice example. Correct. Very good job. You did it great. Lorena, give me your examples for bank. A bank, please. Ay, 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 con el banco. Um, you can buy. In a bank, I change. Sería. Um, ay, ¿cómo que se llaman estos? Chequera. No sé cómo sería. Chequera. Class. Chequera in English. Checkbook. Yeah, checkbook. Ok. And you can buy checkbook. Pregúnteme otra porque con el banco no encontrar. Ok, maybe no buy. Tal vez no comprar, pero obtener. Get. Ajá, como, ¿Qué podemos obtener en el banco? You can get. Un servicio. Ah, uh, what, ok, what kind of services class? Uh, uh, money, money, cash, money. Ah, you can get a credit card. You uh -huh. can get. What else? A debit card. And okay. ¿Qué más obtenemos en el banco? Podemos ir a pedir, solicitar en este caso, solicitar. 
Presto. Ah, very good. Bueno, sí. Me parece ese. How do you say presto? Sí, presto. Yes, Carlos. What uh, can you get in a bank? Uh -huh. I can buy house, new house. Okay. For the bank, I have a credit card, Very debit good. card, a uh, account, a mm -hmm. and it's possible a uh, transfer money to other country in the, in the world. Very good to transfer some money. So, you know, we were mentioning services, Carlos, he was mentioning services and things that we can get. Me gusta eso, servicios que podemos obtener y cosas. Get, conseguir, obtener. How do you say préstamo? Loan, loan. Y podemos agregarle antes de loan, por ejemplo, un car loan, un préstamo para un carro. House, ok, or an apartment loan, para obtener eso, loan. Or personal loan, personal loan, un préstamo, ok, préstamo. So this is like some of the things that we can get at a bank. So let's go with the bookstore. Uh, Ivania, please, bookstore. Okay. You can buy novels uh -huh. at a bookstore. You can buy Bibles at a bookstore. You can buy magazines at a bookstore. And only, and only that. Very good. So three examples of the type of books that you can get at a bookstore. Very good. Magazines, Bibles, dictionaries, and any other type of books. Very good job. Jorge, give me examples for a coffee, a, no, supermarket. Yeah, supermarket. You can buy vegetables at a supermarket. You can buy meat at the supermarket, and we can buy a milk mm -hmm. at the supermarket. We can get milk, very good. We can buy milk at a supermarket, excellent. And Rita, eh, did we mention coffee shop? No, verdad, nos hacía falta también coffee shop. Rita, coffee shop, please. Okay. You can buy a packet coffee. Uh -huh. Late latte coffee dessert. dessert. I don't remember the pronoun dessert. Yes. Dessert, <sighs> the correct one. Only that. Only that, right? Yes. We can get coffee and desserts. Posters. Very good. At a coffee shop. So most of the time, this is what you get. Class, is it clear? Está claro cómo expresamos entonces ese tipo de oraciones? You can get or you can buy. So don't forget, podemos usar ambos verbos. Buy, porque vamos a comprar y get. Tal vez para obtener servicios o eh, en este caso en el banco usamos ese verbo get. Get. So listen. When we are talking about this places we need to make sure to pronounce correctly to make the correct intonation so this is the video that we have about so you can practice pronunciation okay the correct emphasis and just let's listen okay so we can practice here we go hi everyone in this class you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun 
equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. So what are compound nouns? If you notice compound nouns, nombres que están hechos o formados from one noun and the other one. Or it can be a noun and an adjective, a noun and a verb. So it's just, just like the mixture. But in this case, we have these compound nouns. So we still have just five minutes. Not for that, tomorrow we are going to make the last activity, okay? Look, bookstore, bookstore, always. We always have the emphasis in the first word. Siempre tenemos el emphasis o el estrés que le llamamos en inglés en la primer palabra. Bookstore, department store, gas station, post office, coffee shop, drugstore, restroom, supermarket, okay? Stress, stress, okay? Hacemos el correcto o la correcta entonación en la primer palabra, okay? So we can make this emphasis. And I have some sentences. Let me see. The ones who hasn't participated today. Quiero escucharlo para que todos practiquemos ahora. Let me see. Hey, I like your classes, Alberto. Really nice classes. Janira, please, Janira. Let's practice pronunciation. Practiquemos la pronunciación de estas palabras, okay? Bookstore, department store, and so on. Vamos, Janira, you can do it. Bookstore, department store, gas station, post office, coffee shop, drugstore, restroom, Supermarket. Very good. Supermarket. Great intonation. Muy bien. Muy buena intonación. Let me see who else. I just need another one. Who can help me out? Yo creo que todos participamos ahora. Samuel, can you try, please? Samuel. Go, please. Hola. hola. Mm, Bookstore. Department store, gas station, post office, coffee shop, drugstore, restaurant, and supermarket. And supermarket, okay. Bookstore, department store, gas station, post office, coffee shop, drugstore, restaurant, supermarket, okay. And there are so many other places and so many other compound nouns, but this is the key. To pronounce them correctly, make the emphasis at the beginning in the first word, okay? 
Tomorrow, mañana vamos a grabarnos a nosotros mismos, ok? Diciendo ciertos compound nouns. That is the first activity for tomorrow. So be ready to practice these compound nouns tomorrow. Questions class. Preguntas de lo que trabajamos ahora. Diciendo que podemos comprar de cada lugar. Questions. Or is it clear? ¿Está clara la actividad? Yes. No, I want to listen to you. Yes, for sure. It's clear, right? Yes, it is. Saben, ese es el propósito también de estas sesiones, que nosotros podamos aclarar dudas y así cuando vayamos a la platform in this exercise, we can easily identify the correct answers, okay? This is a knowledge check that we usually have it after the class. So, in this exercise, in caso no podemos escucharlo, tiene problema para escucharlo, mañana podemos completarlo sin ningún problema. Si ya lo hicieron y le salió todo correcto, de igual manera mañana podemos chequear esas respuestas con los compañeros. So this is a listening practice. Ya podemos ir y resolver el 3.2, knowledge checked. Ok, class, estamos listos para este ejercicio. So, questions, class. Preguntas, comentarios. No? Si no, we can stop the class here. And I really wish you to have a great afternoon, ¿ok? Espero que tengan un buen resto de la tarde y muy productivo, ¿ok, class? Thank you so much for joining. Uh, thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.